holiday with Holiday What TV. What? I celebrate what? I celebrate holidays on YouTube, all of them. For example, you thought tomorrow was just Valentine's, but it's not. It's also National Condom Day. Yay! 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 <laughs> but, sorry. You can see how the both might go together. It's also National Ferris Wheel Day. So my mission for you, should you choose to accept it, if you want to send me videos combining Ferris wheels, condoms, and Valentines, I'll put it up on my channel. <laughs> yes. um, and I'm not just Holiday What TV at YouTube. I also have a You Porn channel. So you can make it creative. You can. So it's February. It's African American Month. Yes. yes. It's also National Black History Month. Yeah. And I just learned, you heard this here first, it's the same holiday. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same holiday. True. So here we have our sponsor, who is responsible for all your free beer. This is uh, Dr. Courtney Ryan Ziegler, who happens to be, by the way, the only person, the first person ever with a PhD in African American studies, which she got at uh, Northwestern University. Also, also voted number 29 of the most influential African Americans. Next to Beyonce. That's great. That was by the Route 100. So I want to know a little bit about uh, your story. So please inform. Um, yeah, I am a filmmaker. I am a scholar. I am an artist. I am a loving human being who really does work to like bring humanity to all types of people. So that's me. I'm in Vegas and I really want to have fun. So find me. <laughs> so who here is involved with the tech? Tech community people? Yeah. We got what? Like it's the tech cocktail week is happening right now. Well, this guy here is the um, the developer of his own tech company called TransHack. And I want to know more about this. It's for the transgendered. I want to know about Hackathon and, and how is it, what, what's happening? How, how do we go? Yeah, um, I've been in trans advocacy for like at least 10 plus years now. And I felt that it was like a really great model to borrow the Hackathon environment and apply it to transgender advocacy. I had way too many beers. <laughs> <laughs> um, I cannot say advocacy. Um, but I felt I live in Oakland in the Bay Area in Silicon Valley, and I really wanted to tap into the tech industry to, to improve the lives of transgender people. And I felt that the hackathon model was a great idea to, to follow. So, Sounds like it, for sure. Uh, February, if you don't know, is uh, na I'm guessing you don't know. Maybe you, you do. Don't know. Uh, but February is uh, National Boost Self Esteem Month. Oh, that's really yeah, and I'm just curious how uh, the tech world might sort of help with that with transgender. Um, well, trans people, unfortunately, um, deal with a lot of, uh, of online bullying, um, a lot of anti-discrimination in, in multiple sectors. And so it's important for, for me as a trans advocate and a person who's really invested in uplifting the, the community to, to, to create events that really you know, show, that, show our humanity, show that we're amazing, brilliant people. Um, we're fun people. We're human beings, and I think that like, any any person wants that to remind themselves of and and boosting their self esteem. So, we're we're having our hackathon next week here in downtown Las Vegas. So, yes, oh, and well. we have uh, we got, yes, this is good. I'm I'm going, and we got Jackie going, and Pablo's going, and Susie's going. All kinds of people are going. You should all go too. Uh, February 9th, just a couple days ago, was National Stop Bullying Day. And I don't know if you are aware of this, but Las Vegas recently implemented in their hate crime, hate crimes laws, hate crime laws, uh, gender identity. So that's a very big deal. Big deal. Uh, so again, I'm curious, uh, please tell us how the tech world can aid in this way. Um, that's one of the reasons why I brought TransHack to Las Vegas is because it, six months ago, Vegas became one of the few states that incorporates as you said, gender identity in, in terms of anti-discrimination laws, which is a, a really big deal, yeah. right? To have like the federal government say you're a human being, right? And so also with the, the flourishing tech scene, I, I felt that it, it was important to bring trans hack to downtown Las Vegas. And so we're really going to get together. We're going to make amazing apps and websites to really to, to save lives. Um, and we're going to have fun next weekend. Um, What's and the, uh, the, the future for, for trans hack? The future is hopefully not hopefully, it will definitely be. <laughs> um, we really want to spotlight not only a trans creative technology, but transgender entrepreneurs. There are many of us in the tech industry, and I don't think we get a, a, enough spotlight, because I think the ideas of gender are very draconian. 
male, female, and so trans people exist. We have companies. We have very successful companies. We're going to have uh, in, in this event next week uh, a really successful trans entrepreneur who has run campaigns, who's worked with our president, President Obama right now, worked for him, um, and is really successful with their company. And it is a Vegas-based company, so it's really exciting to, to be trans and technology and really fostering ideas of diversity in the industry. So. Mm. All right, I love it. Please give this guy a round of applause for... Let me say one more thing. Um, one more thing. One more thing. Um, next week, please register at transhack.org. Uh, Ticket Cake is our official uh, ticket sponsor. <laughs> so, so please buy your ticket through Ticket Cake. Um, and next week at the center in downtown Las Vegas. So thank you. Thank you for owning your truth. Own your truth. Happy holidays. Exactly. Thank you so much.